As I walked onto this stage tonight, I could not help but think about my youngest son. He is a theater major entering his senior year in college. I can hardly believe it. Because, you know, I think of this boy as a 12-year-old boy when he landed the lead role at his camp play. That's him. He's the guy with the curly hair holding the sticks in the middle of the picture. Anyway, lead role. The play was Lysistrata. Now, for those of you that don't know, Lysistrata is a Greek comedy. It's incredibly complicated, a lot of text, a lot of script, a lot of big words. We were blown away that he landed this role. Now, I'm not here to brag about my son, though I'm happy to do so if you'd like me to. But the reason that I'm telling you this is because Alec did not speak until he was four years old. He would scream, he would grunt, he would bang his head on the floor. We took him to many doctors. One doctor told us that this little boy would probably never speak. Another doctor told us that we should have him committed to a home for the mentally disabled. Eventually, Alec did speak. He spoke all at once. It came out in sentences. And his older brother said, Mom, I like them a lot better when he didn't talk. Anyway. On this particular night, you're looking at a venue, a couple of hundred people in Elmer, New Jersey. That's where the camp was presenting. And you know, they would sell tickets, seven, eight bucks, and everybody came, and it was a really, really big deal. And Alec nailed it. I mean, nailed it. Knew the lines, got the complicated words, had people laughing. He was golden until the end. All of a sudden, he kind of forgot his line and there was a proctor off to the side of the stage like this, and she yelled, Alec! Psst, psst, psst. And Alec looked over and he went, what? And everybody in the theater hushed. So she said it again, Alec, psst, say, what? Now the theater was silent. My husband and I looked at each other like, oh boy, this isn't too good. Third time. She yells, Alec, say, ps, ps, ps. And this little 12-year-old boy looks at her, looks out at everybody in the audience, throws his hands up and says, whatever she said. Right, just like you're cracking up right now, the place went up for grabs. You know what Alec did? Alec made people feel comfortable instead of uncomfortable. He had people laughing with him instead of at him. He had confidence, he had control, he had charisma, and he had something else. He had what I call verbal courage. Do you have verbal courage? Do you want verbal courage? And most importantly, do you know how to get it?